Hi, this is Brian Castle for Avid Training. I'm going to record a quick video here to answer a question that came in off the Avid Community forums. The question asked whether or not it was possible to change two different colors using uh, Symphony's secondary tool, but doing it without doing two different effects. So it's actually not only possible, it's actually quite easy. So let me show you how to do that now. So the first thing is you can see um, how I'm set up. I'm in color correction mode. I have the secondary tool selected and the particular shot that I have I chose because the question on the forums asked about how to change the color of the sky and how to change the color of the grass for instance simultaneously. Now I didn't have an example that represented that but here you can see that we do have grass in this shot and we also have a girl dressed in blue which we're going to pretend is, is the type of adjustment we want to make on the sky. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and get started. The key to understanding how this works is to understand the vector selection panel inside the secondary tool. If I zoom in here, you can see that we have a series of color chips under our uh, 12 different uh, vectors. And under that, we also have an enable button for each one. Now, one of the chips has this white highlight, and that indicates that that's the vector that I'm going to affect right now if I were to make any changes to the parameters within this effect. Under that, we have an enable button, and if I select that, now the G, or green vector, is enabled so that any changes I were to, to make to this vector would be visible within the effect. Now typically what happens is you come in here, you go to make a change and these things just get turned on automatically. But the key to understanding how you can do two different colors or how you can change two different colors is to understand the difference between the enable button and this vector selection. To make this a little bit easier, what I like to do is to make sure that I have my settings set to show the enabled vectors. You see that I've opened up the settings here on the Features tab, I've chosen Secondary Vectors, Show Enabled. Click OK. And right now, let's zoom back in, because the green vector is active, I see that green vector in the input and output color wheels. If I turn that off, sure enough, it goes away. Now, I think the easiest way to approach this would be to use the syringe tool and sim simply select the different tones that you want to affect. So let's start with the grass. Having selected the syringe tool, I'm simply going to click and drag through a range of those green tones to see the selection that I get. Now sure enough, on the input and output vector wheels, I see uh, a vector has now appeared, and I see over here in the vector control panel that it is the number four vector, and it is both selected for adjustment and it is active. Now you're probably aware the system will automatically set uh, the isolate function on so that now I'm seeing just the green and it's turned all of the other colors to black and white so I can clearly see what I'm going to be affecting. So let's make a change. Let's actually just grab this out vector and I'm going to push it towards yellow and I'm going to saturate it a bit more just to intensify the color of that grass. Okay, so we've made an adjustment there. If I turn off the isolate, now I can see it in context with all the others. Now if I also want to do an, an AB selection here to see the before and after, I can toggle the enable, and here you can see clearly how that adjustment is affecting the grass and nothing else. Okay, so one down, let's go ahead and go on to number two. So with my syringe active again, I'm now going to select her entire blue outfit. Now again in the question this would be done on the sky but we're substituting her outfit for the sky in this example. So I've dragged through her entire outfit and now I see that it is selected and this can be a little bit confusing the first time you go into it because you see both the green grass and the blue outfit when it's set to isolate. So the question is which one am I affecting? Now again let's go back and look at our vector panel Sure enough, number three is selected with the white outline. So if I were to make any changes to the sliders right now, I would be affecting this vector, number three, which is the blue vector. Now I can confirm that by toggling it on and off. And sure enough, when I toggle it on, I see this, excuse me, when I toggle it off, I see this blue uh, oval, the custom blue vector, go away. So that's the one that I'm affecting. Now if you do find this confusing, you can always turn off the other vector, and now it's been removed from, 
from display and you can just look at the blue in isolation. Now again, either adjust the sliders, let's say you wanted to intensify that, make it more saturated, uh, or just come over here and adjust it on the uh, on the color wheel. You could actually change it over to magenta or purple if you wanted. Uh, I'm just going to set it to be a bit more cyan, a bit more saturated just for, for demo purposes, and then we'll turn off the isolate. Now if I were to leave it here, the only change I've made to the image again is just her outfit. And the reason is I still have this vector turned off. As soon as I turn it back on though, that uh, more yellow, more intense green color comes back and now I've affected both of those colors. And if I were to play this out or export it, this is how it would go out at this point. So hopefully I've answered your question. As you can see, it's relatively easy. The key is just understanding the vector selection panel. If you want to learn more about color grading with Media Composer and or Symphony, you can take the MC239 class from your local Avid Learning Partner. You can find your local Avid Learning Partner on the Avid website. See you next time.